Hello mga ka-babes! This is your teacher, babes, and welcome to Mom Babes TV, where you can learn mathematics in just watching videos. So, like, comment, and share, and also don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga latest na videos. Enjoy watching! For today's topic, I will discuss factoring polynomials with common monomial factor since it is the most requested topic of the students and factoring polynomials with common monomial factor is the first topic in the grade 8 mathematics and also mag comment kayo sa ating comment section kung ano yung topic na gusto nyong ipadiscuss sa akin at yung topic na yon ang ating isusunod na video or iba vlog so like, comment, and share, and also don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga latest na videos. And let's start our discussion. Enjoy watching! Hello everyone! Today, we will discuss about factoring completely different types of polynomials. So, we have four or five more lessons about the factoring completely different types of polynomials. But for this video, itataka lang muna natin or i-discuss lang muna natin ngayon is about lesson number one. So, lesson number one lang muna tayo mag-focus. And abangan ninyo, yung mga susunod na video about sa iba pang lesson dito sa factoring completely different types of polynomial. So, lesson number one is about factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. Okay, that is lesson number one. Next, when we say factoring, factoring is a process of finding the factors of up polynomials. And then, when we say polynomials, poly means two. It is an algebraic expression consisting of two terms. Tandaan, poly means two. And when we say common monomial factor or common factor, it is a factor that repeatedly occurs in each term. So, that is our lesson number one. Since alam naman natin kung ano yung topic natin for this day or for this video which is factoring polynomials with common monomial factor, let's have examples. Okay, so we have four examples for this lesson. Okay, let's have example number one. Example number one is factor... 9. Yes, number 1, we are going to factor 9. Okay, so, yung mga factor ng 9 is 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. Okay, so, ang sagot dito sa factor 9 is 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. Okay, so, yung dalawang yon is set of factors of Nine. So, yan yung sagot sa factor 9. Ganyan lang kadali ang pag-factor. So, let's have example number 2. So, example number 2, our given is find the G, C, M, F. Or ang ibig sabihin ng GCMF is the greatest common monomial factor. Ulitin ko, GCMF is greatest common monomial factor in which it is the greatest factor contained in every term of an algebraic expression. Okay, so ahanapin natin ang GCMF ng 2x squared z and 4x squared z squared okay so the first thing we have to do is list those expression 2x squared z and 4x squared z squared so 
Let's factor first 2x squared z. So, it is 2 times x times x because x squared is x times x and then times z. Next, 4x squared z squared. The factor of 4 is 2 times 2 and then x squared is x times x and then z squared is z times z. Okay, so makukuha na natin ngayon yung greatest common monomial factor. Okay, since meron parehas na 2, and then meron ding parehas na x, and then meron pang isang parehang x, and then yung z, ang greatest common monomial factor natin ngayon is... Okay, that is greatest common monomial factor. Okay, so we have 2. Kasi meron silang parehas na 2. And then, meron pang x. So, since dalawa yung magkaparehas na lang x, magiging x squared. And then, merong isang z. So, ganyan lang kadali kung paano kumuha ng greatest common factor. So, ang greatest common factor ng expression na 2x squared z and 4x squared z squared is 2x squared z. Okay, let's have example number 3. Okay, so sa example number 3 is magpa-factor na tayo since ang topic natin is factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. Okay, so this is it. Example number 3. Factor the expression 5a squared c plus 15a. So that is the expression that we must factor. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to factor out the expression 5a squared c and 15a. Okay, so the factor of 5a squared c is 5 times a times a times c. Next, the factor of 15a is 5 times 3 because 5 times 3 is 15 and then times a. Next, we must list their common terms or their common factor. Okay, so meron silang parehas na 5 and then meron ding parehas na A. So that is our greatest common factor. Okay, next, after natin makuha yung greatest common monomial factor nila is ililista lang natin yung mga natitira. So, ang natira sa 5a squared c is ac and then copy the plus sign and then ang natira naman sa 15a is 3. So, that is now the factor of the expression 5a squared c plus 15. Okay, so yung answer natin is 5a times the quantity of ac plus 3. To check whether our answer is correct, we must do the distributive property. Okay, so ang gagawin lang natin is yung distributive property. 5a times ac, ang sagot dyan is 5a squared c. Next, 5a times 3, ang answer is 15a. So, as you notice, yung sagot natin dito sa baba nung binultiply natin is kaparehas nung given equation. So, we can conclude that our answer is correct. Okay, let's have our last example which is example number Four. So, dito sa example number 4 is medyo mahirap-hirap na ng konti. Konti lang naman. <laughs> okay, so our example number 4 is factor the expression 2mj squared minus 4m squared j plus 8m cubed j cubed. So, 
Unang gagawin or the first step that we are going to do is to find the factor of each expression. Okay. Ang factor ng expression na 2mj squared is 2 times m times j times j. And then, ang 4m squared j naman is 2 times 2 times m times m times j. Next, last, ang factor ng 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. And then, times m cubed. m cubed is tatlong m. So, m times m times m. And then, yung j cubed naman is Tatlong J. J times J times J. Okay. And then, hanapin or find yung mga magkakapareho nilang mga factor or kung ano yung magkakaparehas na meron sa kanilang tatlo. So, meron na tayong 2 at saka M at saka si J. Okay. So, yan yung ating Greatest common monomial factor, 2MJ. Okay, so ang sunod na gagawin natin is ilista yung mga natira sa kanila. So ang natira sa 2MJ squared is J and then copy the minus sign. And then yung natira naman sa second expression is 2M and then copy again the plus sign and then yung natira sa last expression is 2 times 2 is 4 and then m times m m squared and then j times j is j squared okay so yan na yung factor ng expression na 2m j squared minus 4 m squared j plus 8m cube j cube Okay, so ganyan lang kadali kung paano mag factor again para sa checking ang gagawin niyo lang is yung distributive property magmo-multiply lang po kayo Okay, so ganyan lang yung process. 2mj times j the answer is 2mj squared and then 2mj times Negative 2m, the answer is minus 4m squared j. And then 2mj times 4m squared j squared is plus 8m cubed j cubed. Okay, so... Kung titignan, kung titignan ninyo, parehas yung sagot natin sa given na expression. So, we can conclude that our answer is correct. Okay, so ganyan lang kadali ang pag-factor and then pag-check kung tama yung sagot ninyo na factor. Okay, since we are through discussing about our topic, Factoring polynomials with common monomial factor and nagbigay na din tayo ng apat na example. Okay, so now it's your turn to answer. Okay, so ang sasagutan lang naman ninyo is just factor the expression 8a b plus 16b squared. Okay, so ganyan lang kadali yung ipapasagot ko sa inyo. Okay, so kung alam niyo yung sagot, just comment down. And then kung tama yung sagot ninyo is shout out kita sa ating susunod na video. Good luck! So, that's all for the discussion of today's topic. Sana may natutunan kayo sa mga tinuro ko. And also, don't forget to like, 
comment and share and also subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga latest na videos. And kung may gusto kayong ipadiscuss na topic, mag-comment lang sa ating comment section at yun ang isusunod ko na ibablog. And also, kung alam niyo yung sagot sa aking tanong, mag-comment na din sa ating comment section at kung tama ang iyong sagot, isa shout out kita sa ating susunod na mga videos. So, that's all for our discussion for today's topic. See you on my next vlog. Bye-bye. Keep safe.